I want to solve this uh, problem here in two different ways so we can see that there's actually two different ways of looking at the same information. On this side over here, on the left hand side, I want to start by looking at the decimals that we have and converting them to fractions first and then solving the problem that way. 0.25x is the same as 1 quarter of x, so we can write that as 1 fourth times x and that's equal to 5 and 1 fourth. So 5 and 1 fourth. Now to get rid of this 1 fourth over here on the left hand side, we're multiplying 1 fourth times x, so we'll do the opposite, which is divide, and we'll divide by 1 fourth. Those two will go away and we'll have just x on the left. And then the right hand side, we also want to divide by 1 fourth, which means we can invert and multiply. So we'll have 5 and a quarter divided by 1 fourth, which would be the same as 5 and a quarter times 4 over 1. Well, 5 times 4 is 20, and a quarter times 4 is 1, so that would be a total of 21. So that would give us an answer of 21 for x, and we can check that. 0.25 times 21 equals 5.25. Well, since a quarter of 21 is 5 and a quarter, that answer is correct. Now, if we look at it the other way, if we leave this in decimal form, 0.25x equals 5.25, we can just divide both sides by 0.25 right at the outset. 0.25 divided by 0.25 goes away. We have just x on the left hand side. And as we saw before, 5 and a quarter divided by a quarter is the same as 5 and a quarter times 4. So we get 21. And we already know that answer is correct because we checked it before. To solve this, this equation for x, we just need to get rid of the 5 over here on the left-hand side, since it's the only thing with the x on that side of the equation. Now, in this case, we're multiplying x by 5, so the opposite would be to divide. So we'll divide this side by 5. 5 divided by 5 is 1, so that gives us just 1x on that side. That's what we wanted. Then the other side, we need to divide by 5 also. 3 and a quarter divided by 5 is 0.65. So now x is by itself on one side, and it's equal to a single number on the right-hand side. So we have our value. We can check that by putting it back in place of x. 5 times 0.65 equals 3.25, and that's correct. So our answer, x equals 0.65, is correct.